Hi, welcome to the Neon Light and Glow Skins tutorial. To begin, let's take a look at the different parts of a Neon Light Visualizer Spectrum. Each band is made up of three distinct parts. The actual band, the band's vertical reflection, and the band's surface reflection. Each of these can be activated or deactivated in the menu skin. Let's take a look at an example. As you can see, if you left-click on Reflections, the vertical reflection will be deactivated. Use the vertical reflection on glossy surfaces. My current wallpaper has a concrete floor which won't look realistic if I have the vertical reflections on, so I will deactivate it for this wallpaper. Likewise, if you left-click on Surface, the surface reflection will be deactivated. Notice there are two angles available for the surface reflections. Try both of them to see which one looks best for your setup. Generally, you want to use the 30 degree angle for more vertically inclined surfaces. To restore these settings, left click the visibility box. If you would like to have the visualizer bands only appear when an audio is detected, right click on the visibility box. To restore all settings to default, left click the visibility box. You can also increase or decrease the sensitivity of the visualizers using the sensitivity boxes. The default sensitivity is 40. You can also load the visualizer bands individually. This is a very powerful tool that will allow you to have a unique visualizer pattern. Here are some examples that I made. The possibilities are limitless. You will have to tile the individual bands manually along the surface where you want the visualizer. It takes a bit of time to place the bands, but it's worth it as you can create awesome patterns along any surface. Here is a tip, when placing your bands on a surface, progressively tighten the gaps between each visualizer as you lay them down. This will give it some depth making it more immersive. The visibility, reflection, surface, and sensitivity works identically to the other neon light skins we saw earlier in the video. You will notice however that there are three extra settings buttons. Neon Lights has a total of 40 bands. If you click on the 40 bands box, you will be able to load the entire 40 bands. If you end up using only 20 of the 40 bands for your visualizer setup, you have to enter 20 in the input band box. This ensures that your 20 loaded visualizer bands will display all the audio wave spectrum. If you are using 10 bands, then enter 10 in the input box and so on. If your monitor is small and you would like to use only the last 20 bands of the 40 neon light bands, then click on the 20 bands box. If you will be using only 10 of these 20 bands, then enter 10 as your input band, it's the same as for the 40 bands. Don't forget to save a layout for your setup. Now let's look at the glow skins. These skins will automatically stay underneath other skins. For them to function properly, you have to install Image Magic, as described in the general settings video. The first three of them are meant to be used together with the neon light visualizers. The ring glow is meant for the neutron and beam visualizers. The glow skin with the set angle box is for the glow time skin in the normal tab. The rest are meant for the text tab skins. Here is a tip. Always position the glow skins first before placing any other skin above them to avoid them also taking a screenshot of the skins. The glow skins function by taking a screenshot of your desktop and applying an overlay glow effect to it. So it will take a screenshot of everything on your desktop. You can also create custom glow skins by using your own images and loading them using the custom box. As you can see I made a custom glow for my current neon light visualizer pattern. Here is another tip. Since the glow skin's only function is to apply a surface glow to your wallpaper, you can place them where you want the effect, take a screenshot of your wallpaper with the glow effect, and now use this new screenshot as your wallpaper. This way you don't have to keep the glow skins loaded. If you are using a multiple monitor setup, you probably notice the glow skins work properly only on your main display. Please watch the video on how to make it work on multiple displays 
and how to create custom glow skins.